in Africa, um, in Tanzania. We didn't have like what the typical stuff you would see in the, an American home. We didn't know how to use the stove, the shower, the toilet. We were like, wow, I've never seen one of those. For like taking showers, we would go down by like a, a river and grab the water, warm it up, and then you know, you would use it so it wasn't like a shower that, you know, you just turn on, you got hot water. When we came, it was in the winter time, and I had never seen the winter time, I mean, the snow, and it was like 20 degrees, and back home it was like 90 degrees, and so it was, it was a little weird. My brother actually came first into to the United States. He was here for, I think, a year before we were, and so he kind of knew, like, the stuff and how to use it, but we had also another family um, when my brother wasn't around showing us how to use things and where you can buy things. Growing up, I played soccer. We didn't have like, you know, the soccer balls like that you guys have. We had to create them ourselves. So we took like little pieces of rocks and we would put them in a bag and then tie it up with a, a rubber band. And that, would, that was our soccer ball because we couldn't afford the actual soccer ball. We knew what it was, but we just couldn't afford it. And when I first came here to West Catholic, a guy came up to me and was like, hey, you, you play soccer? Because I had soccer cleats on and he ended up getting me a spot on Alliance FC. It's a big club in Grand Rapids. Played there for four years, competed in the National League. Went to the finals three times for State Cup. When I first came to this school, I don't know how to put this in words. It was like, I was already part of that family, of like that West Catholic family. I was, I was new, but it felt like I had been there for a while. It's just the people are like, they're willing to help. They're there to listen. Whatever you need. I'm in class just sitting down learning and I just get a call from the office and I'm thinking like, oh, what do I do now? I come down to the office and I hear this news of your school just got paid for. Your little brother don't have you guys don't have to put down that down payment of fifty dollars, which I was paying at the time. My jaw just like dropped right there. I'm like thinking, okay, now I don't have to find ways to make this money. I don't have to go to my parents and ask them like, hey, can I get $50 for school when they don't have it their, themselves and they're really just trying to put some food on the table and make sure the bills are paid on time. To me, it was huge. I don't know how to put it into words that would really show like how much it meant to me. Just thank you so much for everything that you guys have done for the West Catholic community, myself, my younger brother who's here too. I wish that there was, there was more people who, who were donating so that way other kids can feel the same way that I felt.